What's up guys, Jason here. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a simple and efficient, fast, automatic Minecraft Bedrock Sugarcane Farm. This farm works 1.20 in all platforms of Minecraft Bedrock with you plenty of phone, tablet, Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo Switch, or PC. By the way, this is an improved version of my previous fast automatic sugarcane farm. As you guys can see here, this farm allows you to quickly and easily get a lot of sugarcane. This farm produces sugarcane every second. By the way, sugarcane can be used to make paper. Paper can be used to make firework rockets or trade it with villagers to get emeralds. For this farm, you'll need 6 chests, 3 hoppers, 1 dispenser, 3 glass blocks, 1 water bucket, 1 sugarcane, 2 pistons, 2 redstone repeaters, 1 lever, 2 redstone torches, 5 redstone, 1 button, 1 dirt block, and finally about 37 solid blocks. You can use any type of solid block that you want. A couple examples of solid blocks are smooth stone or cobblestone. The first step is to place two solid blocks. Then place one block over here and one block over here as well. Now break this block. After you have done that, place a lever over here. Then place a redstone torch over here and redstone repeater at the spot. Make sure the two prongs of that redstone repeater are facing that way. Then place redstone over here. As you guys can see there, that should create a redstone clock. Once you have created that redstone clock, flick this lever down to shut it off. The next step is to place two blocks over here, and two over here as well. Then place three blocks like this. Now place a dirt block at this spot. After you have done that, place a block over here and two pistons on top of it. Make sure both of the pistons are facing this way. Those pistons will automatically harvest all of the sugarcane that grows. Once you're done with that step, place two chests over here. Then crouch down and place two chests over here. Those will be the collection's chests in this farm. The next step is to crouch down and place two hoppers over here. Make sure the nozzle of each hopper is facing the chest in front of it. The reason why there are two hoppers in this farm is because one hopper would not be able to keep up with all the sugarcane that is produced. Sugarcane will be collected by that hopper and funneled into that chest. Sugarcane will also get transferred from that hopper to the bottom hopper then funneled into that chest. The next step is to place two blocks over here. Now place a dispenser at the spot. Make sure that the dispenser is facing this way. Now crouch down and place a hopper on the dispenser. Make sure the nozzle of that hopper is facing downwards. Then crouch and place two chests over here. Once you are done with that step, place three blocks over here, three over here, and three over here as well. Then place three blocks over here. Then crouch down and place water in this hopper. By placing water over there, you will be able to plant sugarcane in this farm. Then plant sugarcane on this dirt block. That will be the sugarcane that grows in the farm. The next step is to crouch down and place three glass blocks over here. By having glass blocks over there instead of glass panes on top of the hoppers, the pistons will not be able to connect to anything. That will prevent the sugarcane from falling onto the dirt block and not getting collected by the hoppers. The next step is to place three blocks over here, three over here, and one at this spot. The next step is to go behind the farm. Now place three solid blocks over here. Then place a redstone torch at this spot and a redstone repeater over here. Make sure the two prongs of that redstone repeater are facing that way. Then place two redstone over here. That will connect the redstone clock to that dispenser. Then place a block over here and a block over here. Now place redstone on top of each of those blocks. That will connect the redstone clock to the pistons. After you are done creating that redstone system, place a button over here. That button can be pressed to harvest any sugarcane that has grown when the farm is not turned on. The next step is to add bone meal to this chest. You can add any amount of bone meal you want, however, the more bone meal you add, the longer you will be able to use this farm for before having to add more bone meal. By the way, don't worry if you don't have much bone meal because I will show you all a quick and easy way you can get a lot of bone meal later in this video. The bone meal in that chest will get funneled down by that hopper into that dispenser. Whenever the dispenser dispenses bull meal on the sugarcane, the sugarcane will grow instantly. I'm now going to do a quick fly around so that you can check and make sure you've made this farm correctly. Over here, there should be the sugarcane chamber. 
over there, this should be the collection system. This side should have that dispenser. The back should have all this redstone. It's really important that you do the redstone correctly. Finally, this side should have that redstone clock. How this farm works is, whenever you flip that lever up, the redstone clock will get activated. That will cause the dispenser to constantly dispense bone meal onto the sugar cane. Whenever the sugar cane is bone milled, it will instantly grow. The redstone clock will also cause those pistons to constantly move back and forth. Whenever the pistons extend, any sugar cane that has grown will be harvested. Whenever the pistons retract, the sugar cane can grow. All the harvested sugar cane will get collected by those hoppers, then funneled into the collection chests. If there is any extra bone meal in that chest, it will get funneled down into that dispenser. Whenever you want to turn this farm off, all you need to do is flip this lever back down. I am now going to show you all how to use this farm. To use it, first flip this lever up, then just wait. As you guys can see there, the sugarcane will get automatically grown and harvested. All the sugarcane that is harvested will get funneled into these collection chests. The farm will continue to produce sugarcane until it has run out of bone meal. This farm is a great quick and easy way to get a lot of sugarcane. Whenever you are done using this farm, all you need to do is flick this lever down to shut it off. If you want to harvest any sugarcane that has grown without having to turn the farm on again, you can push this button. As you guys can see there, the sugarcane will then get harvested. If this farm ever stops producing sugarcane for you, first turn the farm off. Then check to see if any bone meal is in this dispenser. If there is no more bone meal in that dispenser, add some more bone meal to this chest. That will allow the farm to start working again. Whenever you want to collect the sugarcane, all you need to do is open these chests. All the sugarcane will be in here. I am now going to show you all one easy way you can get a lot of bone meal to use in this farm. If you want to be able to easily get a lot of bone meal, I recommend you make my easiest 1.20 automatic bone meal farm. In this farm, a sand and sticky piston system updates the kelp so that it grows every second. The kelp is then harvested, then funneled into that hopper. The hopper then funnels the kelp into that composter. Whenever that composter is full of kelp, it creates bone meal. The resulting bone meal is collected by that hopper, then funneled into this collection's chest. A link to my tutorial for this farm is in the description. I hope you all enjoyed learning how to make this simple and efficient fast automatic minecraft pear rock sugarcane farm. Please like, comment, subscribe, and check out other minecraft videos. Thanks for watching!